Hello students, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this particular video, we will learn about number theory for mathematical Olympiads. To get more information on courses on Math Olympiad and ISICMI entrance, you can check the link in the description. This particular problem came in ISI BSTAT BMAT entrance. It is one of the toughest mathematical contests after high school in India. This sort of problems often come in math olympiads like American Math Competition and IOQM. Let's see how we can solve it and we can learn a very interesting technique to solve such problems using this example. I'll also give you a challenge problem at the end of this video. The problem says that we need to find out all such natural numbers. Natural numbers means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are natural numbers all such natural numbers such that a square minus 16a plus 67 is a perfect square is a perfect square so how do we go about using algebraic identities and properties of numbers to solve this problem the first observation and this sort of problems actually begin with observations the first observation is that this left hand side has a square hidden inside it. So this I in the classes I mentioned this as the hidden square observation. Hidden square observation. This is a very important thing. In one of the sides of the equation, you, if you can extract a square, that is often useful. So a square minus 16a plus 67, the right hand side needs to be a perfect square, so I write it as some t square. So uh, what I can do is, I can write a square minus 2 times 8 times a plus 8 square, which is 64, plus 3. So I'm just rewriting 67 as 64 plus 3. This is equal to t square. Again, it's very handy if you symbolically write t square. Remember, you want to find out when this expression is a perfect square. When this expression is a perfect square. One of the easiest way to write that down mathematically is to equate it to some t square. It's a very common strategy. You want to think about a perfect square, symbolize it as t square. You want to think about a perfect cube, symbolize it as a t cube and things get better. Okay, so let's write down. This is a minus 8 whole square plus 3 is equal to t square. So I'll just put the 3 on the left hand side. I'll have t square minus a minus 8 whole square. Now, things become much more simpler because we have a square minus another square. So, it almost immediately brings us to the difference of square identity. What is the difference of square identity? It is x square minus y square equal to x plus y times x minus y. That is the difference of square identity. So, we will be using that here. So, 3 is equal to t minus a plus 8, t plus a minus 8. That's it. So, one interesting thing that we're going to use here is that the left hand side is a prime number. So, if you want to write 3 as a product of two numbers, there is only a few ways where that you can do. So, um, 3 into 1 is equal to t minus a plus 8 or into, sorry, into t plus a minus 8. It's either 3 into 1 or it's minus 3 into minus 1. Those are the only two ways this can happen, right? True numbers getting multiplied to positive 3. These are the only two ways. In fact, we can write four equations from this. 
what are the four equations? The first equation is t minus a plus 8 is equal to 3. t minus a, t plus a minus 8 equals to 1. That's one equation. We can have another one. t minus a plus 8 equals to 1. t plus a minus 8 equals to 3. It just swaps, right? Then what are the other two? Just simply the same thing. Just minus 3 and minus 1. Minus 1 and minus 3. That's the, those are the four sets of equations. So if you have four sets of equations, you can now solve for t and a. For example, if I just add this up, I'll get 2t equals to 4 or t equals to 2. If I have t equals to 2, then I can find out the value of a. a equals to 7. So, t equals to 2 means a equals to 7. If you can just plug this in and check. So, t equals to 2 means a equals to 7. 2 minus 7 is minus 5. 8 plus minus 5 is 3. So, that works out. So, for each of these equations, so there are four pairs of equations. You, have to, you can find out a and t in each of the cases. And you have to only select the natural numbers. So, here is the challenge question. Can you find the natural numbers A for which the solutions exist? So, you have to just check four cases. I have already done one of them. You have to check the other three cases. If you can, put, it, put the answer in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. We used hidden square. We used a difference of squares factorization and we used properties of prime numbers to solve this beautiful problem. Thank you and keep on solving beautiful problems. Bye.